everybody, my name is Abona Isaac Bear from Bear Science Lab, and today we're doing more funny calculus problems. So, this is not number five, this is number three, if I remember correctly. Oh. Okay, thank you, sir. Okay, so, let's draw some coordinate axes, So we're going to do some graphing. So, we have minus three, minus two, minus one, one, two, and three, we have one, we have two, we have minus one, and we have minus two. All right, so let's get to drawing. So we have minus three comma two, and I'll actually draw these in red, if you don't mind. We have minus three minus uh, comma two, then we have minus two one, then we have zero two. Let me just get the black ink out of there. Then we get, one, zero, once again, get the black ink out of there, and then two minus two. All right, so now let's draw it. We get bing, bong, bang, and bang once again. So this is the function defined as f of x, and the function g of x is equivalent to the integral of f of x from m minus 2 to x. And this is actually a really unique problem. Now, what it's asking is, when is g of x the highest? Now, of course, you can do this by taking the derivative, but I think it's more fun to think of it uh, from a, a, geometrical, a geometrical perspective. Now, obviously, the thing is, how, uh, how large the area under the curve would be is determined from, this is always our lower bound, because we know that is minus two, and then the maximum would be just before f of x goes negative, because when f of x is negative, the area under the curve subtracts from our total area, which would make our area smaller, meaning that the maximum uh, of g of x is at x equals 1 because of the integral from minus 2 to 1 of f of x dx is the largest. The integral of my, um, from minus 2 to anything larger than 1 would have a little bit of stuff subtracted because you can see that after 1, f of x becomes negative. So, that means that the answer would be g of 1. And if we wanted to find exactly how much, we could do that as well. Why? Because, well, let's see. We have, we have this rectangle, and this rectangle has a length of 2 and the height of 1. And this, this guy over here ha has a length of two and also a height of one, which means that we get one over here because it's a triangle. This has a height of two and a length of one, so this is also an area of one, and so the maximum area is two plus one plus one is, g of one is equal to four, and of course you can see that if we had went any further, then this negative triangle, which has a total area of minus one, would have brought that area down to three. So that's why g of one is the maximum. We've calculated the maximum to be four. And even though this is a simple problem, I find it interesting to have one f a function be determined by the uh, integral of another function where the variable is equal to the bound. So that's it. Thank you everybody for watching and we'll see you in the next one. Saborno Isaac Bari, who is known as the god of mathematics, became the youngest professor in the history of mankind.